A historic downtown building that's been empty since the 80s could be coming back to life. The Crest Building just across the street from the Chemo Theater could become a building with a lot to offer. News 13's Alexis Koneski has the story. The Crest Building in the heart of downtown Albuquerque hasn't changed much over the years. I'm a dumb waiter. Are they used to send things up and down? And faced its fair share of vandalism. That's the hardest thing for me is to drive by and see them have spray painted the windows and you know, to see the copper missing and things like that. But after sitting empty for decades, Victoria Van Dame says the Crest could soon see new life with the little TLC. Everybody always talks about the history and I'm always I'm always wanting to just talk about its future, you know. Plans to revitalize the Crest have been in the works for the last four years with COVID slowing things down. Anna Muller used to own the Crest and when she passed away, the building was left to her sister, Frankie Veranda, who with the help of Van Dame is looking to reopen the building while keeping its historic charm as a way to honor Anna's legacy. I always tell uh, Frankie that I'm dribbling the ball for her and when we get the Crest Building going up and it's going to be a beautiful space, she can do the slam dunk. There are ideas to build a roller skating rink on the main level and a speakeasy and lofts on the top with pop-up performance space and even a recording studio, a gathering place during Art Walk and space for artists to create masterpieces. Albuquerque's ready for this, I think, something to this caliber. Even talks of adding garage windows to the back of the building to have car shows. Van Dame hopes it will become a one-stop shop for all ages. If we're working on our building and making this part of downtown a, a really beautiful space, then maybe our neighbors will, you know, follow suit. <laughs> Alexis Kaneski, KRQE News 13. No plans are official at this time. Things would have to be approved through city zoning.